This is Caleb with Hackaday. Recently we've had a lot of fun showing how horrible the portrayals of hacking can be in movies and TV. And today I think it would be even more fun to show hacking done right. So let's get started with the top 10 best hacks in movies and TV. At number 10, we have Real Genius. Val Kilmer's character pulls a cylinder of dry ice out of a freezer, cuts off a quarter-sized piece, and uses it in a vending machine to avoid spending a quarter. It's a lot of effort, it's a funny joke, uh, but we don't actually have links or proof to show that this one worked, and that's why it only gets number 10. I'd love it if you guys could tell me if this one actually functions, or if you could prove it, show me a video or something like that. For number 9, we have movies that show a program called InMap. It was in The Matrix Reloaded, The Bourne Ultimatum, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. It was even in that Die Hard movie whose name I keep messing up. The program, InMap, is for security auditing networks. It's a real program real people use, and it is a perfect example to explain to people that showing accurate things on the screen in the movie will not make the movie instantly boring. At number eight, we have the social network. Whenever you see things on people's screens, it's actual code. And whenever you hear them talking to each other, it's not just techno babble, it's real stuff. Though they may have made things seem to go a little bit faster than they would in the real world, everything else looks real. At number seven, we have the born ultimatum. There's a scene where they have to hack into a mail server. When they do, they show the screen and there are actual results coming back that you would see when you were doing this kind of thing. You can see that the server's using Postfix, it has the right version of SSH, uh, they're using a, a bash shell through the movie. Great job, guys. Another example of hacking displayed correctly. Although it is in an action movie, it doesn't detract from it at all. At number six, we have real genius again. The character Laszlo is shown at the end of the movie having won a ton of things from a sweepstakes by gaming the system. It's often just dismissed as a cute joke, but the fact is this is based on a true story that happened at Caltech. Uh, some students found a loophole and were able to enter, I, I don't know the exact number, but over a million times, I think, into a sweepstakes that McDonald's was throwing. They won a car and a bunch of other prizes. Number five, we have the scene in War Games where he has to make a phone call, he stops at a payphone, doesn't have any change, so he unscrews the microphone bit and bridges to the coin slot, gets a free phone call out of it. it seems too simple to be true, but the fact is this was 100% accurate. This is a hack you could pull off for quite some time. And now, well, good luck finding a payphone. Coming in at number four, we have Flight of the Phoenix. Now this one's pretty freaking amazing because it's true. There was a, an airplane that crash landed and the people on board managed to cobble together another airplane out of the parts. Now I don't just mean, uh, you know, fixing a few holes with some duct tape. They made an entirely new airplane and they flew out. Not only that, but they actually had to tie people to the wings to fly away. And number three is Sneakers. This movie does a fantastic job of showing the fact that the weakest link in most security networks are the people that use them. Social engineering is a huge part of hacking, and this movie really shows that. Number two is War Games again, this time with war dialing. Yes, we used to dial random numbers to see if we could connect to a modem. It happened. As a matter of fact, the name War Dialing comes from the movie War Games. We named it after that movie. Not only that, but if people aren't necessarily familiar with the older stuff like that, surely you've heard of driving around and looking for Wi-Fi networks called War Driving. Same source. And number one, here it is, we have MacGyver. You knew we wouldn't leave him off the list. He's the undisputed king of questionable engineering. Anytime we talk about hacking of any kind, people tend to bring up MacGyver. Although he did some silly stuff that wasn't really feasible in some of his shows, if you look at some of the earlier episodes, he does really good stuff that could actually work, such as making um, spot welders from high voltage or mixing chemicals to make extreme exothermic reactions. Fire! MacGyver comes in at number one. This video was so much fun to make, but I know we missed a ton of good stuff. Be sure to leave us some comments to tell us what scenes you think portrayed hacking accurately in movies. Also, subscribe to our channel for videos about all kinds of hacking.